sleeping in the cold to raise awareness about youth homelessness. That's what people are doing in Rochester tonight for Waypoint's yearly sleep out to help raise money for the cause. WMUR's Marissa Tansino is live in Rochester tonight where that sleep out is taking place. Marissa. Monica, that's right. We are here in Rochester and this is the ninth year that Waypoint is hosting its annual sleep out. Take a look behind me here. You can see some of the people that came out for this. They're expecting about a couple dozen people to come out and sleep here at Waypoint outside in Rochester, but they say hundreds of people will be participating across the state. Really just acknowledging the fact that there are youth and young adults who are homeless and sleeping on our streets in all of our communities in New Hampshire every night. Sleeping in solidarity. That's the theme of Friday night sleep out organized by Waypoint to bring awareness to youth homelessness. I think one of the things that's hardest is to think that this is the rest of my life, that there's no really path to get out of the situation. And we provide access to employment, we provide resources to education, we provide skills, we provide certainly survival skills too. Organizers say 15,000 young people across New Hampshire experience homelessness every year. Through funding used to fuel resources and community support, Waypoint hopes to bring an end to the problem. To really understand that this is not the problem of one night and this is not going to be solved one day, but that really it requires the support of government, of federal government, of cities, of citizens and everybody. The CEO of Waypoint says there's not one path to youth homelessness and just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Youth that are experiencing homelessness are really good at hiding. They're really good at hiding because they've been hurt, because they're traumatized, because they don't trust others. So it is a problem that is not obvious all the time. The incredible support that we get from all over the state and the community uh, makes us know that these young people aren't invisible and uh, that people really do recognize that youth and young adults experiencing homelessness deserve the support and services that we're able to provide. And Waypoint hopes to raise $450,000 through the fundraising efforts leading up to tonight. They say all of those funds will go towards resources to help support homeless youth. We're live in Rochester. Marissa Tansino, WMUR News 9.